Welcome to the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum here in Cooperstown. My name is Craig Muter. I'm the Director of Communications for the Hall of Fame. I'm here with Tim Wiles, our Director of Research, and today we're going behind the plaques right here in the plaque gallery, looking at some of the most accomplished managers, executives, players, and umpires in the history of the game. Today, we're talking about Max Carey, a great outfielder in the 1910s and 1920s, and a guy who has some connections to some other Hall of Famers. Absolutely, Craig. When you talk about Max Carey, it's all about Willie Mays and Lou Brock. Let me explain. Max Carey had the record for putouts in the outfield, the career record, until it was broken by Willie Mays. He also had the National League career stolen base record until it was broken by a guy named Lou Brock. So you look at those two records, that's the kind of player you're talking about, and here's a guy who recorded over 2,600 hits in his career. He led the league in steals 10 times, still has 738 steals, was ranked ninth all time. But this was a guy who spanned two eras, really started in the 1910s in the dead ball era and was still successful into the 1920s. Absolutely, hung in there for a nice long career. One of my favorite Max Carey moments is his performance in the 1925 World Series with the Pirates where he gets 11 hits in the seven games, batting 458 and leading the Pirates to the World Championship. And after his playing career, Max also had a successful career as a manager, including a couple stints in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. That's right, Craig. Uh, Max Carey managed in the minor leagues as well, and he managed twice in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. First, the Milwaukee Chicks, and later, the Fort Wayne Daisies. And Max's family came and visited us here in Cooperstown a couple years ago and told us how thrilled they were to see their father's plaque right here in the Hall of Fame. That's it today from Behind the Plaques. Visit us online at baseballhall.org or come and visit us right here at the museum in Cooperstown. <laughs>